Good evening, everyone. I'm Cheyenne Twilley, formerly Cheyenne Cunningham, and today I'm going to discuss my identity as a public administrator. Let me make sure this thing comes. We'll start from the top. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Cheyenne Twilley, formerly Cheyenne Cunningham, and today I'm going to discuss my identity as a public administrator. I was born and raised in the capital region of New York State, and after many trips to the Grand Strand to South Carolina as a kid, I ended up going to Coastal Carolina University for undergrad, where I studied marine science, coastal policy, and pre-law. So when, where, and why did I become so infatuated with ocean and coastal studies? Probably somewhere around here. <laughs> <laughs> And so after studying uh, shark biology at the Bimini Shark Lab in the Bahamas, interning on Capitol Hill for United States Congress, and TAing climate policy in the Galapagos Islands, I realized truly that coastal policy is my passion and my purpose, so then what? I went to law school, it was probably the worst idea of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and so I realized I really need to go to graduate school, but that's not why I stayed in Charleston. This is why I stayed in Charleston. <laughs> Which led me to the CFC concurrent EVSS MPA program. Um, that was my second best decision I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> so I formed my research around Folly Beach coastal management plans, focusing on facilitating the coordination between knowledge holders and decision makers with respect to coastal policy and management. During this time, I've had an internship with Elko Coastal Consulting, which is also based out of Folly Beach. And it was really this internship along with the MPA program that's taught me how important and powerful effective communication really is. And so really something I'm so grateful for and my biggest takeaway um, is that is the profound amount of respect that I've developed and learned in public administration. I've learned to emulate the leaders who really inspire you. <laughs> <laughs> I've developed a deep sense of empathy, right? And so you cannot be a respected or respectful leader if you lack empathy. And so what you see here is a Folly Beach uh, community engagement meeting where we simply listen to stakeholders about sea level rise. So I've learned that public policy is the process by which governments make decisions about how to allocate resources and distribute benefits. And while public policy can be used to address a wide range of issues, I use my skills for coastal resource management. So science to policy, it's being able to interpret and convey a scientific message based on who your audience is. And policy to practice taking those well-informed, those science-based, those evidence-based decisions and bringing them to life. For example, authorizing a beach renourishment project and then executing a beach renourishment project. It's that simple. I've developed incredible communication skills. How can I effectively communicate science to policy or policy to science if I'm not a good boundary spanner, I'm not a good knowledge broker, translator, liaison, intermediary, whatever you want to call it. And so I'm that middleman right here. Oftentimes scientists and decision makers speak very different languages. So what I simply do, what my job is, what my passion is, is to translate for them. And so I've been able, really lucky to tie everything together and evaluate the impact that those middlemen have on Folly Beach Coastal Management Plan. So the MPA program overall has been incredibly resourceful. I would recommend it to anybody, and thankfully it's never made me feel the way that law school did. <laughs> <laughs> Which is this. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, would not recommend. Um, so thank you so much to my advisor, Dr. Nowlin, uh, my committee, both of them, 
um, <laughs> staff and faculty, the invaluable friendships that I've made, my family, my husband who's right there, and um, one last thing, one plead is, for the love of God, somebody please hire me. <laughs> <laughs>